Hey, Tony's in St. Helens. Uh, thank you, dude, Tony. Saobona Makulu. Ah! How ka- are you, my friend? Kabulu Masulu. <laughs> How are you, Scotty? You alright? <laughs> Makulu the Sulu. Yeah, very well. Listen, Scotty, uh, quick one. Um, your mate who phoned earlier from Derby. Listen, were you on the tally or another radio station or something recently, no? No, 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 not so at no, all. I could, I could almost swear to God it was it was you giving out some wisdom. No, not at all. Fantastic. Makulu the Zulu. <laughs> now listen, a bit of wisdom for the gentleman earlier. Because you dispense a lot of wisdom, you, you know. Oh, thank you very much, Scotty. <laughs> very nice of you. You're a wonderful fellow. I've been trying to get through a couple of times, but you've been oh, very, very busy, my friend. Very, very busy, my friend. Very, very busy. And uh, your mate from Derby. You phoned earlier. Hey, listen, do you think I would enjoy a job in East Africa? You would go down great, Scotty. There's a job going in the radio in East Africa. I saw advertised last week. You would go down great. You would go down great down in, uh, in Africa. Would they understand all the chit-chat? Um, yeah, they would. They would. Yeah. You'd have to speak very slowly, though. Yeah, not too fast. With the accent. With the, know, accent, the accent. The accent and the slowly. language and everything. <laughs> yeah. I bet I'd love it out there. It, 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 this time of year, yeah, it's lovely. It's Lo- there. Lo- there now. Lovely people. Yeah, quick one for the man from Derby. Um, problems with a girlfriend. Do you remember that one? Yes, of course um, I do. Yes, I, I, I say it was only it was only twenty minutes ago. Yeah, and I just I just wish that he'd actually asked the girl to switch the radio on. He's confessed in front of fifteen million people. He has he feels, and he's he, he's 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 realised his own mistake and all his mistakes, and he's trying to rectify it. I wish he'd switched on the radio. That would may would. Maybe made her um, realise what was going on in the whole relationship. Yeah, you see, I'm a bit worried about the mother and father. They sound like they've been overprotective, and I don't like parents that feed their children sleeping pills. Well, I mean, the children, I mean, she's, what, 32, did he say? Yeah, yeah. But well, I don't like parents that give their children sleeping pills. Uh, what's even worse, Scotty, I don't like people if they've got children themselves and they're resorting to that type of thing. Crazy, crazy. It's not It's not a, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Yeah, um, you, you've got the responsibility to these youngsters. You've got to look after yourself so that you can look after them. We don't look after the youngsters enough. Well, this is, that, comes, that brings me on to my second point, Scotty. Yes, television. television. Switch it off for one night in the week completely. Just off completely. And make it family night. You see, I was watching that um, daytime stuff. Uh-huh. And uh, it would be better just shutting down. Well, Scotty, I, re- I refuse to watch anything like that. It, it's, um, they drag the same subjects through the mill every single day. They're better shutting down. The television used to open at, was it 1 o'clock? No, 12 o'clock, I think, it opened. Yeah. And um, you got some uh, news and some kids' programs, and then it shut down about 2 o'clock again. And then it opened, I think, at 5 or 6, and it shut about 10 or 11 o'clock. Now, we should go back to that. I think that's enough for television. Well, I mean, I think the television's destroyed the whole um, family life. And the whole social fabric yeah, of this country. Just, well, put it this way, Scotty, in 1975, South Africa got their, their television station, the first television station. Before that time, we never had television there, so we used to have really? family nights in every night, you know, um, around the table at night, some have meals, that type of thing. But that, uh, is all, as you say, has all fallen down the wayside now. But you see, everybody's voted with the radio sets. They want to listen to McClure at night because they get all the chit-chat. Well, this is it. There's, I mean, there's more interest, um, interesting things happening on Scotty's show than there is on any television station anywhere. Interesting, isn't it? It is. It definitely is. Amazing. Scotty, you have a nice night. You have a lovely night, Makula the Zulu. You're I'll, a top man. I'll get hold of you again soon. I would look forward to it. And dinky doo to you. Dinky doo to you. Bye bye. God bless. Dinky doo. Bye bye now. There we are. What a wonderful man. All the way from Africa, so he can talk to McClue and to you, of course. Dinky doo on Century Radio. Right, you're listening to Scotty McClue's megaphone in. We are, of course, live on the big one. It's news time. Back after this. Frequently different for the Great Northwest. Century 105. Century 105.